Hi, today I want to show you how to visualize the music using the audio spectrum effect. I'm using the version 2304.3 and I've already prepared the audio here. First of all, you need to go to the audio panel here. Click on this here, then you will see the audio panel. Let me adjust the master volume down to better for the recording. And here you can see there's a button for the effect. Just click on this one. Now you have to go to the effect panel, search for spectrum. And you can also see he's saying uh, on master, so you can apply the effect to the track. You have to put it on the master. You can see here is showing master effect, so basically you can drag and drop here. Now let's put an audio on the track. So you can see a window here. Now uh, let me just play it. So you can see there's some wave. This is the line. You can change it to bar. And the fill is only works for line. So let me show you here. So let's fill in the mountains. Okay, let's use the bar here. And uh, I can show you the reverse. Yeah, now it's going to the right hand side. And I can use the mirror as well. Then it will go to the middle here. Now let me increase the line thickness and make the window a little bit smaller here. So for example, I put it here. So it's nice. And for all those parameters, you can set keyframes. I found an issue in keyframing in the version 2208.1. I reported this in 2022 September. I retested on the version 2212. So if you are using something before that, it could be a problem with the keyframing. So let me show you what about the keyframing. So if I want to do, for example, I want to change the color, set a keyframe here, set a keyframe there, change the color to, let's say red. And maybe I just change something as well. Put the mirror, remove this one. So if I go to here, hit. And now it change slowly to red. Okay, interestingly, the checkbox here uh, don't work for the keyframe so you can see it's not changing I just changed it the mirror and reverse and this thing is already clear for all the keyframes uh, but the color is changing and of course I can change the other parameter here as well let's say if I put the angle 90 degree here and maybe I just change the color to a brighter color this is too dark here okay so that's 90 degree and I can play it right here yeah okay let me remove the keyframe and go to other things here. The next one here is the line tension. My understanding this one is uh, for analyzing the frequency. So I, I don't really understand that exactly, but I can't really see the difference here. So the next one is points. 
I can put it down to five, then you will see the difference here. Yeah, you can see there are five points. Let's run it. So that, let's go back to more here. Then that's a low and high frequency, so it's not very easy for the demonstration. You can play around with the parameter and the threshold here as well. And let me show you something here. Let's say I put a clip here, go to the master effect again, put it here. I did the mistake here, it's not the reverse, the mirror. Yeah, the mirror. That's what I want. Yeah. Yeah, that's my sample. Let's, let's do that. Uh, what I can also do is I can add the mirror effect in the master track. So let's do this here and okay. Uh, I just want to show you what's happening here. Let's say I do this here, put it over here. Yeah, now you can see I, I just mirror the audio spectrum and the problem is because it's the a master effect then it will affect everything so basically all the video track is mirrored now you can see there are two DJs here of course you can add another one here let's say I go to spectrum and put it down here so let's turn this 90 degree Put it here. Okay, now let's play it. So you can soon see there's another one here. Okay, that's all about the uh, audio spectrum. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question, feel free to put it in the comment section. I will try to help you. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.